So quick question for you, introvert or extrovert? Definitely, definitely introvert. I can tell you seem to be more extroverted. Oh, I'm crazy extroverted. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I scare introverts. Or okay. or all my friends are introverts and want to go to all the business networking with me because I'm the yes. one that walks around and does all the, oh, by the way, have you met Angela? She's an amazing brand strategist. You've got to meet Angela. And Angela comes up, right? <laughs> so That's so awesome. I'm the one that, I'm the wingman. I'm the wingman yes. for introverts. But you know what, Kim? The fact that you are an extrovert, here's what I know. If you're delivering flyers, you're probably having more conversations than I am knocking on the door because every person walking the street gets a hello from you. Yes. Right? Yes. Right? It's yes. like, yeah, I'm, but whereas an introvert, I'm robotic. I walk by everybody to go to the door. I'm like, I walk by 10 people over here at the car. But what was on your flyer? What was on your flyer? I, I just I used business cards and I said hello and tried to collect uh, okay. contact information, follow up with house phone numbers. So okay, so an introvert. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to help a new agent today. Yes. Walk me through if you're new to a city, which we're seeing a lot of uh, people moving around right now uh, since COVID. There's been this this kind of shift. You know, where do I go? Where can I live? So if you're sitting there and you want to go into real estate and you have no uh, friends and family sphere that you can lean into or past education sphere, what are some of the strategies that helped you get your first 10, 12 listings? Yeah, that, you know what? That, that's really great. I appreciate bringing that up. And so first and foremost, I would say, especially if you're young, go out and buy a suit. Guy or girl, buy a suit. I didn't own a suit when I started. I felt uncomfortable and awkward wearing a suit because I'd never worn a suit in my entire life. But when you show up to the door, if you're 18 years old wearing a suit, they're perfect. First thing they're thinking is there's a professional at my door, right? If you're showing up wearing your street clothes, they're going to be like, get off my porch. You no. Know? Yeah. And, and that's, that's the truth of it. And so I say this, you're better off. You're going to learn more from knocking on 10,000 doors than you are from any coach, real estate sales coach anywhere. Yep. Um, and, and it's the same thing with public speaking, throw them in the fire. You can read a thousand books on public speaking, but until you go and conquer your nerves and speak in front of a group of people that you don't know, you're never going to learn. And, and here's the funny thing. Um, go knock on 10,000 doors. That's not going to pay your bills. But if you do all of the other things, talk to for sale by owners, build a network in a sphere, with the small amount of people that you can get to know through your daily interactions at the grocery store, you know, at the library, at the gas station, you're going to do business with uh, some few basic people along the way. Go to networking events. My journey through public speaking was also a, a large tool leveraging the people that I met through that public speaking journey that saw me grow personally, that respected yep. me for my courage that ended up trusting me with the sale of their home later. So I love the fact that you talk about get a suit, get something that dresses you up. And I know for a fact over at Nordstrom Rack right now, uh, men can get these really great um, um, Steve Madden shoes. They're on clearance for 25 bucks. So you can look good, right? When you show up, what's really fascinating is, is um, especially for a lot of men, they don't, you know, you think about it, you, you're not having to go in and do cosmetics and wear uh, pantyhose and stuff. Whereas women, we are introduced typically, not all women, but typically we're introduced to cosmetics at a very young age. And that becomes like an armor. And that's where the suit comes in. The suit, when you don't have confidence, the suit will help store up your confidence from the exterior. It's like an exoskeleton, Right. Uh, 10,000 doors, just so you know, folks, 10,000 doors at an average of eight year turn cycle. So that's our statistical average that a home will turn over every eight years in Canada. Um, I believe that leads to uh, every year out of 10,000 doors. Let's do what's that? Um, eight years. I think that's going to be around something like 170 properties will go for sale within that 10,000 doors. If you're knocking on those doors or serving those yeah. doors, you know, you can do, uh, no, it's more than that. Sorry. Put another zero behind that 1800. I apologize. Kim, Kim, I must say, I'm, I'm really impressed by your ability to, to rattle off the numbers and your ability to stay organized as an extrovert, because as an introvert, I'm very numbers oriented. So I really appreciate that. 
Um, but the truth is, I want to share as quickly on that. Knocking on doors, cold doors. Yep. I had to knock on 4,000 doors to talk to 1,000 people because only 25% of them were home to make $10,000 in commissions. And I yep. figured it out. It was less than minimum wage for the time spent. It was a $2 for every door, whether they opened the door or they didn't. But but this is funny because Ricky Carruth, he's now with EXP, he talks about doesn't matter how many people you need to talk to that day, if you can build five new friendships from your interactions with people at the door, yep. every single day for a year, you're gonna have a thousand people in your sphere of influence. Exactly. Well, and I, I went about it slightly different because believe it or not, as an extrovert, I wasn't comfortable like knocking on the door. So I did yeah. I did door hangers and I did door hangers within my thing that I loved. And I personally delivered those for the first three years of my bit, my career. And so I got organic conversations. I had, so yes. recipes, recipes yes, for my door hanger. I have 500 doors that I served every single month. I could serve those 500 doors in seven hours of walking. My glutes, oh my God, getting those stairs up and down. Nobody needs a gym membership if you're doing